But with such explosive speed, there's always grave danger. No one was to guess that this would be the last time we would see Mark Woodley alive. As he talked quietly and confidently to a crew member, the two jet cars waited to be called out onto the strip. Hellbender just behind Ceiling Vampire. Every available area for spectators seemed to be packed right around the course as the jet cars move forward and up to the staging lights. Both cars and both drivers going through the normal preparations that the jets make as they come up to the start line. The flame and thunder show, the cracking on of the afterburner, being carried out like any normal race meeting day at Santa Pod. Nobody knew of the tragedy which was just seconds away. The afterburners cracking on, showing out even in the bright sunshine, the large flames at the back of the cars. So coming up into the staging beams all seemed in order. No one was to know that this was to be Hellbender's last run. The green was on, both cars were gone and the run seemed perfectly normal up to the finish line. But then suddenly, Hellbender turned dramatically left, straight across the nose of the ceiling vampire and destroying itself on the armco on the left-hand side. Woodley's Hellbender even clipped the nose of the vampire on its way to destruction. The emergency services were on the scene straight away, but to no avail. Mark has given his life for drag racing. 34-year-old Mark Woodley died instantly as his car hit the barrier at the top end of the strip. What caused this tragic accident, we should never know.